Hi, hello. It's Kristen Lapis. How are you? Absolutely fantastic and feel totally blessed to get the opportunity to share a conversation with you. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, I'll tell you what, Kristen, you are doing something here that needs to be done. And because, you know, for the longest time, I've always asked, why aren't women in the NBA? No, 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 no. You're you're proving that the women can stand on their own, make their own history. And with Caitlin, Kiki, and Camilla, this is a journey that needs to be you just played out. Because, and you're doing it on ESPN. We received an amazing platform. The show actually premiered this weekend on ABC in prime time. So, you know, kudos to ESPN and ABC for, for really propping us up and giving us a big platform and stage to showcase these three amazing women's stories. So I've got to ask you the question in the way of when, when people say that, let's say, Mental Health Month is the month of May. I think Mental Health Month should be every month. The same is true about, about women's basketball. We need to be talking about this year round. I mean, I've always felt that way. So, you know, I've, I've made a career out of telling uh, women's sports stories, and I think it's really important, especially because once you understand that the stakes, the conflict, the, the rivalries are as intense as the as the men's sports, it's like you're all in. It's just nobody's told those stories. And so I've kind of, again, dedicated my career to, to making sure those stories are told because I think once they're out in the in the universe, people want to want to watch and they want to see these women play and succeed. And so yeah, thank you, because it's it's really important to me that these women's stories be shared. Yeah. Why is it that I feel like that we're back in the days of Billie Jean King? It seems like everybody wants to take on Caitlyn, and I'm talking about the guys. Is, is, is it jealousy or is this marketing? Uh, I think it's probably marketing. I will say this, though, that uh, one of my mentors in the industry, his name is Tom Rinaldi. He's a reporter for Fox he said something to me right before I interviewed Caitlin that really, it changed my perspective on the whole thing. He said, in 25 years, your two daughters are going to know the name Caitlin Clark the way you know the name Billie Jean King. And that kind of really stuck with me that she is not only, you know, doing amazing things on the court, but she's changing things. Like the WNBA is now chartering flights. Like, they used to fly commercial last season and so like she's really changing things for women and i think it goes so far beyond the basketball court which is incredible i hope you're keeping beautiful notes because what she's going to do to 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 wnba is this is going to be changing the future of basketball i would love to go into these high schools and see how caitlin has inspired these these up-and-coming shooters i think that you know somebody told me the other day that they're like 14 year old boys we're saying, and like, you know, we're going to take a Caitlin Clark from the logo. Like, <laughs> she has become mainstream. It's not like I'm going to do the Michael Jordan. It's like I'm going to do the Caitlin Clark. I know she's she's influencing players, young players around the country, specifically because of how she carries herself. Like, yeah. it's such poise and confidence for a 22-year-old. It, it's really impressive. We can't leave out Camilla. Camilla is from Brazil, but she also has Carolina connections. And oh my God, she is a superstar to us. Oh, she's phenomenal. Uh, six seven, amazing, amazing athlete. But more importantly to me, her upbringing. She was born and raised in Belém, Brazil. She um, was, you know, her mom runs a spice stand in the streets, very humble beginnings. And so she left home in Brazil at age 15 to try to make a better life for her family through basketball in the United States. And she now, as the third pick in the WNBA draft, is finally able to do that. So it's been really rewarding seeing how far she's come and now she's able to help her family through the money that she's earning through the WNBA. Do you think she's going to return us to the to the older, more passionate uh, days of basketball in the way that being six feet seven, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that game is missing these days because of the three-point shot. I think Camilla is going to take us back. What do you think? I love that comparison. Watching her play, just her defense, the way that she blocks shots, yep. how quick her footwork is for a six seven. Uh, center. I mean, it, it's remarkable, and I hope she brings back that fascination in the in the in the high position, in the big man position, because she absolutely deserves it. And I think that you know, coming into the season, everyone thought she was good, but I don't think people realized how good she was. And I think she's going to take the WNBA by by storm. Yeah. Speaking of good and great, Kiki Rice. I think she's the Cal Ripken of this next generation. 
Lisa <laughs> Mallard is amazing. I, I couldn't agree more. She's an upcoming um, junior, so she still has two years of eligibility left in college. Uh, and you know, comes from an elite political upbringing in DC, and she just has it. Like she has that quiet confidence. And um, I'm really excited to see what she does the next two years. And I hope she has a lot of people following her journey now because of our show um, during during the, the remaining two years of college. So now, what what is it about the UCLA program that has turned them into, my God, giants all the way around? They, they're always present when it comes to basketball. Yeah, I think it's a lot of different things. But the fact that the men were so successful and have the most national championships of any program in the history of the sport, and the women now wanting to 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 be in that position and to to bring UCLA its first women's national championship to the school. For, for Kiki, that was really important. She was like, I don't want to go to UConn where they've won a million times. I want to be the first class at UCLA to bring a championship home. Um, and so I think her and the, you know, the, so- the the sophomore class that she was a part of, it was some of the best high school players in the country all uniting together to try to accomplish this mission of bringing UCLA its first title. Is this going to become a tradition each year we're going to be introduced to new players? Man, I, I hope so. I do too. <laughs> the, the, the second season has not been officially greenlit yet, but I'm I'm putting pressure on ESPN. So hopefully we get to do this again. It was an experience of a career, and these women are amazing. They just need their stories told, and they need the platforms to do it, and people will fall in love with them. So I hope we get this uh, this opportunity again. Well, you're also showcasing how real they are, and and that that they don't they don't have a sports ego or anything like that. They're just down to earth people who happen to love the game of basketball. Exactly. And, you know, you cover musicians and entertainers. It's always the same, right? They're just people. People. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and, and, they, and they love and have a passion and are really good at a specific thing. Yep. But I think humanizing, you know, these women and showing their families and where they come from, that was really important to me when I was making this series. Wow. Well, congratulations on doing that. And thank you for doing that because it really does. It keeps it keeps the girls in our life. And, 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 it really, and they're not on the sixth page of the newspaper anymore. You're keeping them on the front page. Oh, I love I love you saying that. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you.